Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So, I know what's going around uh, social media with, with uh, that Tom Fitzgerald article with The Athletic. I want to do a video on it because it's a lot to talk about. He talked on a lot of big issues, and Fitzgerald doesn't hold back. He tells you how it is, and um, I like what he said on a bunch of issues. He talked about P.K. Subban's next contract. He talked about Damon Severson, uh, what the ask would be for him if he was looking to move him, which I know has a lot of Devils fans divided. A lot of Devils fans like Damon Severson. A lot of Devils fans want to trade him and see what they can get for him. So um, he spoke on that. He spoke about free agency this summer and how it related to how they went after Dougie Hamilton. And also he talked about the goaltending situation. So I want to do a video on this covering all of this. So please stay with me throughout. So in an article from The Athletic, Tom Fitzgerald spoke on a lot of issues. Uh, one of the main ones is talking about P.K. Subban. Uh, he said, Fitzgerald said that he had a sit down with P.K. and informed him that the team is not looking to re-sign him. Uh, talked about the uncertainty of trading him at the trade deadline. And, um, you know, Fitzgerald spoke about a lot of things. You know, he spoke about leading into the trade deadline. You never know what could happen. Uh, a team loses a right-hand defenseman, may need one, and they may call the Devils to see if what it would take to acquire PK. So I'm sure the Devils will try to take the best uh, trade available. But, um, you know, with Subban this year, I think the slew footing incident may have hurt uh, teams looking into him. You know, I'm sure a lot of teams are going to look at situations where you're in a long playoff run, uh, you're in a seven-game series, and a penalty like that can cost you the series and your chance to win a Stanley Cup. So it may pump the brakes on a lot of GMs not looking to acquire him. But, you know, Subban has been pretty uh, – he's been okay this year. He's He hasn't been uh, a turnover machine like the years before. Uh, he's well, – you're not hearing about him on social media as much. So he's really concentrated on the game, and he, you can see in his play, he's playing a, a, a bit better this year. And – um you know, I'm not expecting a huge return for him, but um, I can definitely see possibly a team, you know, a playoff team looking to acquire uh, some depth on the right side defense. So if they're looking, you know, we'll see what happens with Subban. But, um, you know, don't expect a huge return for him, but we'll see what happens. So then he talked about Damon Severson. Uh, he said that a team would have to offer a massive package to acquire Damon Severson. Fitzy said, I don't know what he's going to want on his next contract. We have his services for another year at least. Uh, would have to be a good package that would help us now and in the future. But I haven't spoke to anybody about him. So Damon Severson is still very young, 27 years old. And his contract is what a lot of teams are going to look at. Uh, he's under contract, which expires in season 2022-2023. His cap hit is $4.16 million, and he's got a good frame, 6'2", 205. He's a right-handed shot, and a lot of teams are going to cover that heading into the playoffs. They want to add some uh, right-handed shot to get some depth on that side. So, you know, Severson isn't the um, biggest hitter. You know, he's got a solid frame, but he doesn't hit a lot. Uh, he's not an overly physical defenseman, but he can help out in the score sheet. And, you know, he can provide some offense. He can push the play up. And, um... You know, he can help a team out that, that needs that sort of aspect. So, yeah, if it's a package that uh, I have a feeling a lot of teams will look, especially with the, the cap not going up a lot. Uh, teams may look for contracts like this to help them out. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I mean, what the package will be, I don't know. If he's saying it's something to help us out now and in the future, he's going to be looking for first-round picks. He's going to be looking for good players that are playing now especially to get a good young defenseman and you know looking at his stats this year he's having his best year you know you know he's played in 55 games eight goals 24 assists 32 points his best year in 82 games he had 39 points so he's seven points away now from going over his best year and um you know we'll see what he's going to want his next deal but he may price him, himself out of New Jersey, and the Devils may get a really good package for him now. So we'll see. Definitely keep your eyes open and your ears open for the next couple of weeks to see what happens with Damon Severson if he'll be a Devil. But I don't, I don't expect the Devils to move him if they're trading Subban too. It's a lot of holes to fill, and I don't see a player in the organization now that can step into Severson's uh, 
position and do what he does. So that's where you got to kind of consider moving him right now. Um, is it worth it to, you know, trade him and be struggling with, with uh, trying to have a, a situation where you need someone to do what he does and another player to help out in defense? So it may not make sense, but, you know, I, I know we have Riley Walsh in the system that can step up. He's a right hit shot defenseman. He's playing well in Utica, but he's not there where he can offer what Severson does. So it's going to take him time to get to where, uh, where what Severson's doing. So you always got to consider that when you're making a trade. I know a lot of Devils fans want to move both of them out and clear a lot of cap room so they can use it in the, the offseason. But, um, you know, you got to consider what's in the pipeline now that could come in and step into that position. So curious to see what happens with Damon Severson. So heading into free agency, um, they asked. They were talking about how um, Fitzgerald was able to lure uh, Dougie Hamilton, um, and it was asked, uh, could the Devils uh, see making another big splash in free in the free agent market this summer? Fitzgerald said, "I do. It's got to be the right player. Like Dougie was the right player for us. It made too much sense to go after that big fish." And there's a lot, a lot of good names of free agency this year, in every position, forwards defense, and goaltending. So if the Devils, who have a lot of cap space, if they want to fill those needs that they they have, they can look free agency to do that. They don't necessarily have to make a trade and trade all these assets out, but they can look towards free agency. I know players may not want to come to New Jersey. you got to consider that as well. I know the Devils have a lot of cap space, but um, you know they have contracts that they have to they have to fix up now with Brat and other players that are contracts are expiring. So... Hopefully, once the Devils do that, they have a lot of cap room to uh, make these moves, and um, we'll see what happens in the offseason. There's a lot of good names that, you know, I know a lot of Devils fans are circling, myself included, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. So then he talked about goaltending, and he said that we're going to have to go back to the drawing board again this summer. McKenzie's getting better from his injuries, he was saying. Uh, Bernier will be a go by the summer, but what are they going to be? We've gone through six goalies this year. And he said, that's my job, to make my, my duty, to make sure we're covered with goaltending. Um, he spoke about uh, Nico, uh, Nico Dawes and Schmid, and he said that neither D uh, Dawes or Schmid should have been in the NHL this year. But um, he said that number six, which we was talking about Dawes, is looking, uh, looks like he's going to be a good one in Dawes. Um, I really enjoyed watching him play. And, you know, talking about his age, they're both 21, are Dawes and Schmid. So the future's bright in prospects as far as net mining. So we'll see what what they develop into. But, you know, this promise with them too. Schmid's playing well with Utica. Dawes is looking really good stepping into some games right now. And um, looking pretty solid and earning some victories for the Devils. So, um, yeah, it's it's a, it's going to be a curious situation to see what Fitzgerald does in the offseason with the net minding. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood uh, was dealing with a lot this year with injuries. Um, Bernier had his hip and had surgery. So curious to see what happens with him. You know, goaltenders with hip issues, especially after surgeries, don't do well afterwards. It takes them a lot of time to get back to, um, you know, to shape. That mobility isn't 100% like it used to be. So, you know, what happens with Bernier? We'll see. Um, you know, will, will Fitzgerald look from what's in our pipeline? Will he look to what's in free agency? There's a couple of good names out there. Will he make a trade? There's some teams that are up against the cap and have some net minders that they have question marks with. So, you know, Fitzgerald has a lot to do this summer, but um, he has to concentrate on our net minding, uh, adding a defenseman if possible, or even that situation, does he go inside the pipeline to see what we have? And um, especially in forwards, we need we need a scoring winger. So hopefully he can cover that um, in the offseason. So it was a huge article. It went through a lot of things and especially a lot of things that Devils fans wanted to hear. So comment below what you think about it. What do you think about PK? What do you think about Severson? What do you think about free agency? What do you think about our net minding going forward? Comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.